So today we're going to review the Nintendo Switch Lite and I have here a limited edition Nintendo Switch Zacian and Zamazenta edition Pokemon. So this one is pretty interesting. It's got the back uh, design here so you can see that it's got the engraving compared to the regular Nintendo Switch. We're also going to compare the actual original Nintendo Switch and I'll let you know my thoughts after playing uh, both of these devices for uh, a couple weeks. So let's go ahead and unbox the Nintendo Switch Lite since essentially it's the same thing as the Pokemon Nintendo Switch. This is going to be a really hot Christmas item this year. This is already going uh, for about $300 or, or so on eBay if you've got the Pokemon Sword and Shield game. It actually is controversial because it does not support a TV output. People have already tried to take it apart, but unfortunately it just doesn't have the chip to support a TV output. So this guy not only has a TV output, but he'll also have the ability to detach the Joy-Cons. Now, when you attach, detach the Joy-Cons, you can of course go horizontal mode. So for example, um, I was playing a pinball game and you're supposed to hold the controller like this. So obviously you're not gonna be able to do that on the Nintendo Switch Lite. You'll be able to use the regular controllers. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Okay, so the first impressions are that it's much, much lighter than the Nintendo Switch original. And there's also two flavors of the original, by the way. There's one that's a lot brighter and has a little bit more battery life. So this is the original, original. Um, so it's a little bit lighter. The screen is also uh, slightly smaller. So you see right here that it fits in the profile of the Nintendo Switch regular. So um, the ventilation ports are about the same. There is still a headphone jack. Thank you for not following Apple's idea. And of course you've got the cartridge slots um, on the front. Now the micro SD card fits on the back side and on the Nintendo Switch regular original, it fits right here into this slot. So they both have the USB-C on the bottom, but again, the Nintendo Switch original allows the output to a TV, whereas the Nintendo Switch Lite just doesn't have that chipset. So after playing for a couple weeks, um, I started to realize that I really enjoy taking the Nintendo Switch Lite because I tend not to detach the controllers and play on the tabletop anymore. So this is the setup here if I were to play it on the tabletop. So I don't, I don't uh, need to do that anymore because it is just so physically light in my hand. Um, Obviously, if someone wants to join, I don't have the ability to, uh, to do that with Nintendo Switch Lite. However, you can actually sync up the controllers by utilizing the uh, sync feature on the bottom, which is under controllers. And you're gonna go to find controllers and you'll be able to, oops, uh, pairing new controllers. And you'll be able to push the sync button and be able to sync it up uh, with these with this Nintendo Switch Lite. So you'll have to carry around these controllers if you want to play with a friend um, So I personally have made the transition to utilizing the downloadable games Because uh, a couple of things number one is if you have multiple Nintendo switches Then it kind of makes sense because you'll be able to play it obviously um, only one switch can play at a time but you'll be able to download the games and as long as you only have one person playing at a time, you'll be able to use it without the physical cartridge. Now the physical cartridge is my biggest gripe because I'm telling you that I have lost a lot of cartridges. This is the size of the cartridge. You can tell that it's really, really tiny. And the only thing that if you have it face down on a dark couch, you're not gonna be able to find it. So I have switched over after having lost two games um, and they're not cheap, $59. I switched over to the uh, online system with the digital and if you if you are on Nintendo's um, uh, account if you have a Nintendo account you'll be able to put in your birthday sometimes you'll get some specials so I switched over most of my games uh, to that the downside of doing that is that you're gonna need to have a pretty large SD card so this switch right here has a 500 uh, sorry 128 gigabyte SanDisk SD card 
which has plenty to hold, roughly about 15 games. The Nintendo Switch Lite does not have a docking connector. It basically has only a uh, charging plug and I don't know if it's the same, but here it is. It is universal though, so it will charge both the regular Nintendo Switch uh, and the Nintendo Switch Lite. And of course, vice versa, the Nintendo Switch regular will charge the, the uh, original. This is outputting 5 volts at 1.5 amps and 15 volts at 2.6 amps. And of course, it's a USB-C. Um, here's a little side tip. If you don't happen to have the original charger, but you have a fast charging uh, adapter, the, the Nintendo Switch will trickle charge and you'll be able to uh, play, not as fast as normal, but usually in a couple hours. Now, the only difference again between the Switch Lite and the uh, Pokemon version is the back characters. So overall, um, I think that I'm pretty happy with the Nintendo Switch Lite. This, for me, has a lot of flexibility. It's, it's much, much lighter. But again, I lose the ability to, uh, to share the controllers. And realistically, you're only gonna play a couple games, uh, in my opinion, uh, with four people, such as Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or any of those games. So overall, I would recommend this. It is uh, slightly cheaper. I got this for 200 bucks. Um, doesn't have a dock, of course. But I predict in the future, someone is gonna come out with a, uh, a genius way to tap into the USB-C chip and restore the docking capability. That's my review for this. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon as I do more and more tech videos.